Yeah, so about, about every uh, four to five years, the National Guard cycles through a uh, National Training Center event. It's different from Camp Shelby in that it's, uh, this area is the size of the state of Rhode Island. And so we can see distances that we just don't get to see back home. So you can fire a tube and you can see it make impacts a mile away. So there are certain advantages we get from being out here in this area Good up. for our training purposes. And uh, it's just a great training venue. It's hot, uh, it's hard, it's uncomfortable, and uh, it's very realistic, comparatively speaking, to our fight in the desert in Afghanistan and Iraq. So a successful rotation first means bringing everybody back home safe. That, that, that's number one. Number two is that we get trained, both individually and collectively as a unit, so that when we leave here, we're better than we came. We're more proficient at our jobs, and we're just better all around soldiers, more aware of the, of the total fight and the, what it means to, to be a part of a armored brigade combat team. I mean, I'll talk to you over there, but... You just have to have that me. Not yeah, so this is, this is all about developing leaders. Uh, it's all about testing the systems that we use so that we can communicate, uh, so that we can move down range, so that we can order equipment and supplies. And so we test those things in this environment, and we take a lot for granted when we're just simply working in a room uh, or a planning cell. You don't really understand the tyranny of distance and time. And so... This uh, introduces those elements into your problem sets. And uh, our leaders and problem solvers really have to work hard to deliver fuel, to deliver food, to deliver water. Think about delivering ice in this kind of environment. So during this NTC rotation, I expect for us to get a lot of good training. Um, we've already been trading since day one bringing stuff down the Manix Trail, doing recovery missions. We've been repairing engines, just parts off of systems, electronics. We're doing a lot of work, so the training aspect that, we, that I'm intending for my soldiers to receive, we've already started receiving it on day one. I'm really excited for the opportunity to be out here. I think this is going to be some great training. I love doing this stuff. This is fun. And I hope my guys have a little bit of enjoyment for this, too. Takes a lot of grit. I mean, we're out here pounding pickets, laying Constantino wire. I mean, it's a different world out here. I mean, you come out here, it's time to embrace it. But uh, for a lot of younger guys, they can go back and tell their family, hey, I didn't do this at basic, but while we were out there, we did a whole lot more. But as far as combat engineer goes, when we get to blow stuff up, it's the highlight of our career. So your goal is to uh, put together a plan, to execute that plan, to adjust fire when you have to adjust fire, uh, to make sure that logistics keeps up with your fight. If you'll just learn how to do those things, 
and go back home learning a few lessons from having to work really hard to be successful at those little things you got to do to take care of soldiers and to be successful, then that defines success. Yeah, I'm extremely proud of all the soldiers in the brigade and everybody's uh, hard work throughout the rotation. They, they really worked out, they worked hard, they fought through adversity. Um, the, the conditions out here at NTC are uh, brutal. Um, they're hostile. Uh, not only did they fight the general conditions, they fought the heat. The triple digit temperatures have made it extremely difficult and every single soldier stepped up, fought through and got mission accomplishment. So, Absolutely thrilled with the performance of the brigade and I can't thank each and every soldier enough for everything they've done and the hard work that they've put in over the last several weeks.